Howard has been out with us many times here at the church and talking about violence. He has been consistent. His standing here tonight demonstrates both his commitment and his consistency to fight and fight and fight to eradicate violence in the state of Illinois and particularly in the city of Chicago. We have to stop. The governor has been very consistent. He's been consistent all the way back to one of the things he's being attacked for right now. And I have to say this, Governor, I know we're about to march, but I cannot talk about you and not talk about what's going on at the attack that is going against you right now for the 2010 program. Let me be clear. That 2010 program, we were part of that program. And I'm glad we were part of that program. But it saved lives in this community and in England. So I thank you for taking that step, Governor. I thank you when a whole lot of folks did not care about violence in the city of Chicago. You had the courage to step up and step out and take a move with it. Thank you for doing that. And while we're talking about the problems with the program, let's also talk about the lives that were saved because of the program in 2010. And I also want to say to all those attacking it, because you're not just attacking the governor, you're attacking myself and attacking anybody who believes and fought for that program. But look at the people who are attacking it. They are the same people that are voting against a ban on assault weapons. They are the same people that are fighting universal background checks for the state of Illinois. They're the same people that don't want tougher gun, common sense gun laws in the state of Illinois. So you're not just attacking the governor. He's a big boy. He can handle it. <laughs> but you're attacking every one of us who are on sacred streets in the city of Chicago. Yeah. And we're not going to take it.